Okay, so uh, in this little section, uh, we'll introduce you to um, some of the ways you can get syntax errors in your code. So the good news is that syntax errors are usually the easiest types of bugs to identify and fix because essentially the program just won't run and mostly it'll tell you where the problem is fairly, or at least fairly close to where the problem is. So um, basically in the category of syntax errors, these actually come up as two different types of exceptions. You can get a syntax error ex um, exception or you can get a indentation error. The former usually happens just because you've got a, 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 a mistypo or a mistake. You have some mismatching punctuation or brackets or, or, or whatever else. Um, whereas the indentation errors are being caused by having an unexpected number of spaces at the start of a line. Generally, Python will do a reasonably good job of trying to identify with the error. But sometimes, and I'll show you an example of this, the error um, it tells you the error is on the wrong line, it tells you the error is on the line after the one which actually had the mistake in it. So if you can't see a syntax error on the line it's telling you has a syntax error, try looking at the line above and see if that's got a problem instead. Okay, so the obvious ones are, are misspelt keywords um, and sort of similar typos. So um, you simply mistype a, a reserved Python keyword and it'll give you an error. Um, also, similar sort of things you can get is putting a comma when you should have had a period or um, having a, a period of full stop where you should have had a comma. Um, and the other one you can get wrong is if you try to use a reserved word as the name of a variable or, or a function name. OK, so let's look at some examples of these. So um, this is an example where we've used a full stop where we should have used a comma. We were trying to find a list of two strings and we just type the wrong thing and it comes up and tells us that we have that um, should be there. Um, and then in this case, just an example, I'm trying to create a variable called in. But the problem is that in is a reserved word because it appears in uh, side for loops, for example. So for something in range, whatever. Um, the in and the for, for that matter, are words that you can't redefine as functions. Um, in the next little part of this tutorial unit, I'll show you an example where you can rename things in bad ways and cause yourself equal kinds of grief. But the, the take home message here is you can't use a reserved word as a variable name. Um, another very common uh, error people sometimes make is to miss out a colon. Um, so every time you have a, a new block of code, so the bit under... Um, uh, an if statement or inside a for loop, then that's indented a bit more. And every time you indent your code a bit more, you should have a colon at the end of the line beforehand. So if you think about that, you always have if something, something colon, and then the indented line, and then else colon, and indented a bit more, or for i in range 10 colon, and then the indented loop for the for line. So um, if you get that wrong, then um, uh, it, it will show you syntax error. So if you simply miss out the colon, it's a syntax error. Um, and then related to that is where you have problems with inconsistent indenting. So Python insists that every line that's part of the same block of code should have the same number of white space characters before it. And white space characters, I mean, obviously spaces, but it also includes tabs. Um, and if you don't use an editor that's designed to know how Python works, then you can get yourself in a very real mess if you mix up tabs and spaces, because in your editor, the tab will be shown as lots of spaces, um, typically eight spaces over, but in fact, it only counts as one character as far as Python is concerned. Whereas a space character will show as a single width space and counts as one single width space. So if you try and indent one line with a tab and the next line by hitting the space bar eight times, then it's gonna complain at you because the tab is in fact only one space character, even though it sh looks on your editor like it's shifted over by eight. Um, OK, so often you can get these sort of things just when you make a mistake and, and, and you've got one line which is out by one space. It'll show you the, and it'll sh always show you that the, it's the, um, the second line where the space changes that's wrong. So if you've been working, say, typically with four spaces 
um, for a per block of indenting. If you accidentally indent the first line three spaces and then all the rest are done four lines, it'll tell you the four spaces is wrong, uh, even though it's the the uh, three space line that's actually the one where you've made the mistake. Um, so it'll give you an unexpected indent, meaning you've indented more than you were expecting to. And then the other one can do is when you forget to indent at all, in which case you can get a um, unexpected, um, or wait, we're saying expected an indent um, uh, in in the code. So both of these are indentation errors, but they're pretty straightforward to fix. You just go to that line and work out how many spaces you should have had. And I say the only difficult one is when someone's given you some code, or you've written some code which has some tab characters in it, um, and they can just be a pain to sort out. Uh, another common one, and this is where you can get a little bit confusing error messages, is when you've got mismatched brackets or quotes. Um, so if you take, for example, this little section of code, it's telling me that the error is a syntax error on the print statement. But in fact, there's nothing wrong with the print line at all. The problem is the line above where I have two lots of open brackets and only one lot of closed brackets um, by the time I get to the end of the expression. Um, now, I mean, obviously, that's a very, very simple expression. But if you've written some very, very complicated formula with lots and lots of brackets all over the place, it's super easy to get your brackets mismatched. Um, so it's a good idea to just try and not put too many, too complicated a maths expression into one line like that, because um, it's just asking to go and get a, um, a syntax error. And as I say, the problem is it tells you the syntax error on the line after the one that's got a problem. There's a sort of related thing here with uh, mismatched quotes, particularly if you're using triple quoted lines that go over multiple, where you're going over multiple lines. So you see the problem here is that I've um, opened up with three quotes, but then on the second line of that little code block, it's only got two quotes. And so there's a mismatch of quotes. And you can sort of see it from the way it's syntax colored it for me. I'm still somehow inside the string um, on the line that starts X equals um, when I shouldn't be. And so again, it's going to tell you there's a, a syntax error, but the it's highlighting the wrong line as having the syntax error. Um, and in this particular case, it says it's run off the end of the um, uh, run off the end of file, um, meaning it's got to the end of my um, my code cell, um, and it's still waiting for a quote to happen. Um, and so that's why it generated that particular error. Okay, so that. Um, illustrates a, a particular problem you can get where the um, the error can appear to be not on the line where the actual problem is. Okay, and then there's a couple of really, really nasty ones. So this is a, a bug that, in fact, we came across teaching computing to about six or seven years ago. Um, so it's possible with a, a, a modern Windows or Mac computer to uh, switch the keyboard layout to a, a different language. Um, uh, so you can have different international keyboard layouts. And the problem comes is that sometimes you discover that the particular layout you have will produce a symbol that looks like a standard piece of punctuation, but in fact is represented internally as a completely different character. Um, and that can cause real, real confusion. So if you look at this little section of code, that sort of looks like it ought to be OK. I've got if true, colon, indented block, whatever. The problem is that that thing that looks like a colon isn't in fact a colon. It's a completely different character that just happens when displayed to look a little bit like a colon. In fact, if you look very, very closely, it's a skinny colon. Um, it's a little bit kind of lighter white. Um, and so that comes back until you have a syntax error and you can stare at the screen forever trying to work out what's going on. Um, so it's really, really hard to go and um, uh, get rid of those things. But um, if you really want to um, uh, try and uh, avoid switching your keyboard to different international layouts, if you can possibly help it, because it is just a pain, a world of pain. 